Hello. I call this video Mamma Mia. Ma -ma -ma. <laughs> All right. Um, so, got a comment on the video. This will be like a special episode, extra, an extra sode. Uh, because I want to address uh, a comment I got from Emanuele here on this, uh, the last video. Uh, where he mentions that uh, there is a problem uh, using map file as I, God damn it, uh, as I was doing in, in that video. Because uh, in the script we created, we, we looped our slides, you know. So each slide will become an element in an array, but then we also uh, create a new array uh, where we use a uh, underscore as the, the delimiter for to create different lines in each slide But there is a weird thing with map file and I'm wondering if this is not uh, actually a bug in map file I have to uh, I'm going to investigate this uh, a bit further and Maybe it would be really cool to report a bug report to uh, for bash but whatever, uh, the problem is uh, the following. Um, if we do map file uh, dash t dash d underscore, uh, create an array, we can call it mama, and we use the string mia. This is uh, Emanuele's uh, example here. Well, it's actually two M's. I guess it's two M's in... Okay, I'm sorry. I wanted it to be like uh, authentic and I thought maybe Mama is spelled with one M in Italian. Sorry for that. It's two M's, apparently. Okay. We do this. This should create an array here now that's called Mama. So we can do echo Mama. We can do dollar zero because it's only con it it only contains one element. Uh, this string it doesn't have any underscores, and that gives us this. There's a trailing uh, blank line in this string, and it is from map file here. It's a map file who, for some weird reason, append uh, a blank line to the last element in the array. If you are, if you are not uh, using blank line as the delimiter and T, then it will not add that. We, we get back to this. Maybe to make it even more clear, we could uh, extend this string and use an underscore here. And now if I do uh, first index here, mama zero, it just prints EX because EX is the first thing, then underscore delimiter, but last element, Mia still have that trailing new line. Very annoying in my opinion. Uh, and I tried this a bit uh, to see if maybe maybe this would work, you know. If we do echo n to remove uh, blank lines from the from uh, this echo. And then uh, uh, we can have a new string and pipe that into map file like this. Now if we do echo uh, uh, um, mama zero, we get e e ex, which is not correct. Here we should get new. Hmm. This is also a bit weird. Let's unset mama. Now we get nothing. If we do this. Yeah, this is what I suspect, uh, suspected also. Yeah, you cannot really do this either. You cannot pipe things into map file. That doesn't work. It, it needs uh, standard input or using that triple left pointing thing redirection. Okay, then we also encountered that issue here. That's good. So... Maybe it is not map file who adds that uh, blank line then. Maybe it is this thing that adds a blank line to this thing here. I'm not sure. Um, but nevertheless, 
it doesn't really work here if it adds that uh, trailing blank line. That, uh, it doesn't mean anything in our script here. It doesn't affect this actually, uh, really. But it could uh, do that for for other uh, 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 in in other circumstances. So uh, Emmanuel suggests that we should instead you change the internal field separator uh, IFS, which is an environment variable available inside a script to change the field separator. Um, we could. Uh, yeah, let's do this. Uh, let's create a function. Let's call it uh, Funka uh, Echo Dollar uh, One. So now we can do Funka Hello World, and it prints Hello. Uh, if we change the internal field separator, also I like to create a backup of the current field separator. So let's do OFS is equal to IFS. And then we change IFS to underscore. And now if we do Funka uh, Hello World, still, okay, God damn it. IFS is a weird thing. That, that's why I, I, I kind of don't like to mess with IFS because it's uh, unpredictable in my opinion how it will how things will work. But now we have IFS set to an underscore here. Uh, let's do this also. So echo I yes. whatever. And that means we can do four line in. Uh, we give it a string, line one, line two, separated by underscore, uh, do echo line done, done, and that does this. So weird this IFS thing. Okay, check this out. Uh, string is equal to this. And then we loop string. And then it works. It's so weird with the IFS. And it, it might also result in weird, uh, hard to, to debug errors. So sometimes you need to reset IFS and whatnot. I, I just don't like using IFS. I, th I feel it's more reliable to use. Uh, yeah, you see here we now get different results here and whatever. Um, so I was really happy when I found that you could use a map file and create these arrays that you that, that's more predictable how they will work. Uh, at least I thought so till I till we noticed this uh, adding the, the trailing blank line here. Um, I will reset IFS here to OFS. Um, so I, I don't like using IFS, but I found a, a compromise. Because what we can do is doing this. Uh, we have now this string that contains line one underscore line two. Then we can do map file, remove trailing delimiters, uh, create an array called lines, uh, and we use our variable uh, string to replace all occurrences of underscore with new lines. Important single quote there. Now we can echo lines one, the last uh, uh, element in this array, and it doesn't include the trailing new line because that is removed uh, with T here. So I guess um, 
uh, map file dash d uh, is considered harmful. <laughs> So don't use that, don't change uh, the delimiter like that, change the delimiter like this instead and then it will kind of work. Uh, the only thing that will not work is uh, mm -mm, if you want to have new lines in your array elements, but that's kind of super uncommon and if that is the case then it is probably better to, to change the IFS and, and do it that way. But this is what I will use, uh, I will change... Uh, uh, um, I I will replace the delimiter with new lines and then still use map file. So we can do that uh, 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 here. Just uh, changing delimiter to new line. Move delimiter there. Nice. Um, Another thing that I discovered here, uh, you see, I, I am kind of, um, yeah, I, right now I, I have like a thing with map file and I have a thing with uh, dollar single quote backslash n single quote. They are my new friends. Uh, we used to do this in the script here uh, to horizontally pad the block to move it to the right. We prefixed each line of the block with uh, a string containing uh, spaces using sed and re uh, substituting the beginning of the line uh, of each line uh, with a string containing spaces. But when I was doing this, I got this warning from Shellcheck that I shouldn't use sed and see if I couldn't use, uh, yeah, variable search replace instead uh, but variable search and replace uh, you can only search for strings really with that you cannot search for beginning or end of the line with with that but you kind of can uh, if you use one of my new friends you know this guy uh, then we can replace uh, new line characters which is of course the end of each line in this block so we can search for the end of the line in a block of text with a uh, variable uh, uh, replacement thing here. But to replace the beginning instead, the beginning of each line, then we replace the end of the line with the beginning of the next line, or the end of the line and the beginning of the next line. Well, I don't know. But maybe, maybe you get this. Uh, so we search for line breaks, we replace each line break with a new line break, but after that line break we also add the, the prefix, the beginning of the next line. So we add the spaces there. Um, and that will uh, indent uh, the next line. This is of course not uh, the most elegant, perfect solution, because if um, this block, if the last line of input or the last line of the block ends with a line break, then we will uh, create a new line, uh, a new line indented, a blank line indented. Uh, but um, our block variable here doesn't end with a, uh, a trailing uh, new line. And we also need to add this uh, prefix, the, the padding here, the spaces. Uh, at the beginning of this string uh, to the first line because uh, yeah we need to do that I don't know it's a bit messy but it's still not uh, that much longer than this line still kind of compact uh, and we don't get the warning from shell check and I, I think it's a very good idea to just try to get rid of all uh, shell check warnings that that should be uh, an everyday goal in your everyday dirt hacking lifestyle, you know? So, yeah, that's uh, this little extra sode about the, the weirdness uh, things in uh, bash scripting. Uh, me and Emanuele also had um, a discussion on, on the last video, uh, this, this one. 
and and this is uh, this is a really uh, fun thread in my opinion uh, where Emmanuel have discovered that you can actually uh, 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 use these columns and lines variables that you can use to print the number of uh, lines in a terminal. It works when you use it in a terminal like this interactively. Uh, when you're uh, typing directly into a terminal to access the shell, then these variables are available for you. But they are not available in a script because the script is not uh, uh, run in bash interactive mode, so to speak. But you can actually force a script to run in interactive mode by using a dash i. But then it will also read uh, your uh, bashrc file and all aliases and stuff like that will also be active in that script so but you can avoid that by also using no rc uh, option here and then it will not load uh, uh, like bashrc but i don't know um, it, it, it's kind of weird and you might also need to use this if you're uh, using uh, env because env doesn't really, yeah, it, it, it's a weird story, this whole thing. And kind of a, kind of a fun, fun thing to, to uh, uh, discuss. But most of the time, when you start to get into this shebang territory of, of, uh, of bash, uh, there, there are no good answers, really. I think I link here to this stack overflow which is a discussion about what is the correct shebang to use. And you will uh, soon understand that there, there are no real correct way that will work uh, uh, across every operating system. Doesn't even work across all Linuxes. So it's, it's a weird thing. Let's leave it at that and also uh, launching a script interactively I, i'm not sure that's a a good idea i and as far as i can understand the only benefit is that you get like some special environment variables available for you and probably there are some drawbacks that um, that that is hard to debug uh, but this is a way to to do that it can also be interesting, sometimes you might want to create a script that actually do have your aliases available or whatever. Okay, um, so extra sold. I will record the next uh, video in the series here ho on how to create the slideshow. Uh, the next video we will uh, make um, colored output, add these coloring formatting strings like this and also read from a file uh, and I will record that uh, video immediately here now and uh, upload them almost uh, uh, back to back or maybe not we I, I don't know I don't know maybe I upload this video tomorrow and that video first I, I don't know I'm not sure but you have a great day bye